What's going on guys? Welcome back into the channel. Today I wanted to do a little bit of a different video and I wanted to start to get into some more in-depth and advanced tips and tricks for Madden. Um, some more detailed things than you might typically be used to doing in a franchise mode. And in today's video we're going to talk about signing free agents and a couple of things that you guys want to be on the lookout for as advanced things to look for whenever you're signing free agents in Madden. Now this can apply to preseason free agency, regular season free agency, off season free agency, um, and the general gist of this is the same for every single time that you're trying to do this. Essentially, what this boils down to, let's go ahead and jump into free agency here and take a look at a couple of things. Now, whenever you jump into free agency, Generally speaking, you're probably looking for the highest overall player or you're sorting for attributes that you like, you know, whether it be speed or on the defensive line block shedding, uh, defensive backs, maybe you're looking for a, a combination of athletic uh, athleticism and coverage ability, play recognition, whatever it might be, you're probably sorting for those things. And you're probably also sorting for age. So, you know, out of the top players here on this list, most of these guys are old. You're probably going to go with the younger players that are available on the list as opposed to the older players. That's all pretty standard. That's all pretty basic. But you can go even further into what you're doing uh, with searching for free agents and signing free agents. You can get more information back and get a more informed decision as to what the proper way to go is. So the first tip that I want to give you guys, and this is going to be two major things that we're covering here today. The first tip to give you guys is, especially whenever you're comparing younger players, there can be a, a pretty significant difference between two young players. Uh, let's take some of these 25-year-old quarterbacks, for example, and we'll click into them. So first one, let's go ahead and click into Joshua Dobbs. We can get some information off of his player card. Then let's go ahead and click into P. PJ Walker and see if you guys notice any difference between their player cards. Now the difference that I am specifically referring to is in the top right corner of their player card. There are a couple of different things to be learned from the top right corner of their player card. So different players first and foremost will have different amounts of XP to be earned in order to upgrade them. So PJ Walker's at 4,400. I can't remember what Joshua Dobbs at. He's at 4,400 probably because they're the same, pretty much the same overall um, and same age. But certain players can have different XP bars even though they are the same age and overall. So you guys can see Mason Rudolph at a 62 overall only needs 4200 XP to be upgraded. So that's number one. That is a super important thing to pay attention to when you're signing players because you might get a player that has a really expensive XP bar that makes it more difficult for them to level up. Now this is just going to branch off of that first tip. This is tip number two and I guess I should say I'm going to cover three things in today's video. This tip is going going to be to look at how much XP they actually have in their XP bar because if you can sign two players that are exactly the same let's say you know Joshua Dobbs and PJ Walker had all of the exact same stats and I really can't differentiate between which player I want to sign they have the same contract all of those different things let's go ahead and take a look at their XP bars well they have the same amount of XP to upgrade but Joshua Dobbs has only accumulated 74 XP out of 4,000, whereas PJ Walker has accumulated 2,093 XP. So if those two are the same player essentially, and I can't decide who to sign, I would recommend signing the player that has already accumulated half of his XP bar because that's going to get you closer to a future upgrade. And so this is why this is an advanced tip because not a lot of people are going to go into the amount of detail to compare players, take a look at their XP bar, how much XP does it take to upgrade, how much XP have they already accumulated, and make decisions based off of those things. So this is a super advanced tip for you guys to pay attention to. And then the second, I guess I would call this the second major advanced tip for you guys to pay attention to, or third, however you want to number them here in this video, is to be on the lookout for players that have upgrades. Now, you're not always going to find a player that has upgrades, but sometimes you'll player you'll find a player that has a, basically a full XP bar, or you'll even sign a player that has an upgrade on them. And so you guys can be on the lookout for players that will actually have an XP, or sorry, a uh, 
upgrade available and you could even cycle through free agents until you find somebody that has an upgrade available so a great example here brennan scarlet i already found is a player that once i sign him and i go over to him on my roster you will see that he has a player upgrade unless i accidentally had auto upgrade on and it auto upgraded him uh, but he should have a player upgrade on him uh, and it should allow me to upgrade him. And so this can happen. So this is just a guy that I've, I've you know, released and, and put out there in free agency to be able to find for you. Um, but this happens all the time in free agency, especially in the off season. There are a lot of times where teams will not progress players and they will just release them, especially if you're in a CPU franchise. And getting a player that already has an upgrade point on them can be incredibly important because that can allow you to take your first steps towards building that player in to what you want them to be it can get them into a little bit more advantageous of a position and if you were considering signing that player in the first place it's just a huge bonus to have an upgrade already available for that player so that is uh essentially the the advanced tips that i want to talk about in terms of signing players those are like the most uh you know detailed you can get with signing free agents whether it be through like i said preseason, regular season or off season and you like i said you can utilize those things to your advantage. Um, in addition to that, you can kind of uh, game that system a little bit by switching players around to various different positions. And so let's say, for example, I found a player at... Um, I don't know, let's say I found a player at defensive end that has really good speed and has maybe their entire XP bar filled. You know, let's say that I found a Kyle Phillips, for example, that has 84 speed at D end. Imagine that his XP bar is filled up. He has like 5,600 XP out of 5,800. Let's say I take that player and play him at outside linebacker. His overall is probably going to go down, but that's going to trigger his XP bar, the total amount of XP that it takes to upgrade him to go down but he's going to keep the amount of XP that he has, which can trigger his XP earned to go over the amount of XP it takes to upgrade him, and you can get a free upgrade point off of doing something like that. And so it can get real detailed if you want to take the amount of time and energy to spend on free agents, you know, scouring around to see who's got full XP bars and things like that. I know plenty of people that will put in that amount of time and effort. There, I also know plenty of people that could care less, and they just signed the highest overall player or the player that has the you know for d-line the highest block shedding or something like that i don't always go through and search for the player that has the best xp bar or anything like that uh, it's just something that you know if you want to get real into it if you want to get real advanced with what you're doing and give yourself the best edge possible in franchise mode this is something that you can do to take advantage of the system and uh, it's perfectly legal and i don't think that there's anything crazy unrealistic about it i mean it's unrealistic in the first place to have an xp bar are, I guess, if you really want to get, get that far into it. And so, you know, it's available for everybody to do. And anybody could go out there and look at the XP bars and say, okay, well, this guy's close to an upgrade, so I'm going to sign this guy instead of that guy. That's as simple as it gets. But like I said, that's that's the advanced thing that you can do with free agents to actually give yourself an edge. And not a lot of people do that type of thing. So hopefully this information is valuable to you. Um, like I said, I know that some of you probably won't even care, probably won't even go to the lengths to do this. It's like I said, I don't always do this myself but you know if this gives you some uh you know tips or information that could help get you an edge in franchise mode or let's say you know you struggle to build a team these little things doing these little things on a regular basis finding these players with upgrade points finding these players with the best xp bar and stuff like that that can be a major way to to get just get that little bit of edge in your team building and and help get you on a competitive level or get you above your peers so with that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys leave a like on the video if you want to keep seeing more content like this make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit that bell notification button comment down below with anything you guys would like to see next and i'll see you guys in the next video